What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and since my last video, my acne has cleared up, looking fresh as fuck, looking good all over again. Anyway, what's going on? As you can see by the title below, we are talking about how, not even how, but should you, yeah, should you ask a guy about his intentions? Now, I'm going to say no, and I'm going to explain my reason why. Now, of course, you need to know the intentions, but it, you know, let's be real, right? Is, the, is that motherfucker really going to tell you his true intentions? From my personal experience being a man, uh, back when I was a, a, you know, just a piece of shit, I, you know, if I didn't have the right intentions, I would not come out and say it. I would not say I'm just trying to bang. Um, very disrespectful of me. Yes, I agree 100%, but that's why I'm trying to make amends and tell you right now that, you know, I'm trying to help you out. Other men aren't going to, uh, or other men are going to be like me. They're not going to, you know, be these good, holy saints who are looking out for your own interests. That's just not how it works. The guy's ego is based on how well he can, uh, provide and satisfy for a woman and when he's not getting women he has to find a way to do so right so he's gonna lie manipulate bullshit a woman uh to the max okay and unfortunately i was that low ego man at one time uh this is after a really bad breakup but no excuses still shouldn't do it guys even though i'm talking to girls actually eight percent of my audience is uh is men so i'm talking to the eight percent of men out there okay but before we even get started if you can, subscribe to my channel right here below. Get my free ebook, 254 pages, which talks about everything in all my videos. And thirdly, I'm making a Patreon. I need your guys' support for things I want to do. All right, I'm going to throw it in there real fast. I have big, hey, big, massive plans, but I need your help. So if you can click that link below, just to even, just to look at it will mean the world to me. Just look at it, okay? Just click the link below and look at it. So, here's why I don't think you should tell, or uh, or why you don't, I don't think you should ask a guy his intentions. One, we just kind of went over it. He's going to bullshit and lie about it, okay? And let's just say he was the good guy. This is number two. Let's just say he was the good guy. When a girl, you know, asks me, you know, so, you know, and I'm talking about in the very beginning. In the very beginning, when she asks me something like, so, you know, what are you looking for? What do you want, you know? I don't know what it is. I don't. Maybe it's just me. I now I talk to other guys about it, but you know I don't have like a you know a hundred thousand man survey about it. But when a girl again, this is me from what I heard from other guys. When a girl says something like that, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Nothing on her. It's just kind of like you know like we got to go through this again. And it feels like a guy has to say, that a lot of times it seems like the guy has to say a lot of the right things, right, for the key to just right in there. And if he doesn't, then it's fucked. And that's the, I think that's how a lot of guys think. You know, I'll be talking to a girl, uh, well, I'm single, not talking to anyone now, but I, you know, I was talk, you know, I would talk to a girl in the past and, you know, she, in the very beginning, like before even our first date, so what are you looking for? So what are we? You know, something like that. I'm like, we're two people about to go on a date. Like, chill out, okay? Uh, or she says, so what are you looking for? And I understand. I, I 100%. I understand why you're asking that. You have to have your defense up. Guys are douchebags. You don't want to waste, you know, you don't want to waste your time. Why would you want to waste your time? Why would you want to go on a date to, uh, you know, just find out that the guy doesn't want the same thing as you? I totally understand that. But here's the thing, okay? When you ask the guy that in the beginning, and I say beginning from two dates under a you know, the guy doesn't know what he wants. It's logical. Guys like to unfold naturally. In my opinion, I think you should wait till after the second dates or even longer if you can wait because, like I say, attraction is not a choice. A, a lot of the time, it just unfolds naturally and the guy ends up falling for the woman. My best relationships were relationships where after, the, I would say, the second or third date even is when that topic brings uh, or is brought up. In the beginning, it's just about having fun, hanging out and building value. Why would you ask that question, right, in the beginning when he has no idea who you are, what you want, what you know, what you can offer, 
or your value or anything like that. There's no point in my opinion. And again, I understand 100% that you want to know where he's going uh, or what he's actually looking for. But at the same time, one, he could be lying to you, so it doesn't even matter. Secondly, guys, I'm telling you, the only reasons guys won't date, <laughs> I say it all the time, I, you already know the two reasons, but it's because you're not good enough or there's other women. And a lot of the time, so, so I'm, what I'm trying to say is the guy like doesn't know what he, you know, at the time he might not know what he wants, but when he starts hanging out with you and realizes you're the fucking shit, he's going to change that, right? Like one girl can ask me out and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not looking for anything, da, da, da. But I can go over here, I'm telling you, a week later and a, and a different girl asks me out and I'm like, yeah, you know, actually I'm going to try this out. A great example of it is 500 Days of Summer, of course, from a girl's perspective. Have you guys seen that? Spoiler alert. Uh... You know, what's his name, the main character, he thought they were a good match, they were cool, he was falling for her. she liked him, but didn't want the same thing, and at the end, you know, they, you know, they broke up, and, and she, you know, she didn't want to get married or anything like that, right, but at the end, of the, she, you know, she was, she met another guy, and she was like, you know, I just was sure about him, what I wasn't sure in you, that's what she said to him, he's like, oh shit, and that's kind of how guys are, you know, just because a guy doesn't, says he doesn't want a relationship, doesn't mean he doesn't want a relationship it, it just depends on the woman and when you ask those kind of questions you know what are you looking for so what are we uh what can i you know those kind of things it just kind of lowers your value because you're seeking validation you're trying to again i know what you're trying to do and i understand the logic behind it but it doesn't work with male logic just like males just want to show up and do the part no complexity just show up and play the role and, a lot, and women should do the same thing. I think a woman should go in there and if, listen. If you don't want to have sex with the guy, don't have sex with the guy. That's that's a hundred. That's a one, not not even one percent of his decision. That's your decision. Okay. So if you're hanging out the first date, just don't hook up. If you're hanging out with the second date, just don't hook unless you want to, of course. You know, just don't hook up. Third date, fourth date. It don't matter how long. Okay. It's all about you, so don't ask him what he wants. Go by his actions. And if you guys are hanging out date after date after date and you only feel it escalating and the attraction building and he's putting more effort and energy and money and time into it. Oh. Gotta get these bad boys in there. And time into it, then you know it's a good sign. Don't even ask for the uh for the uh don't for the validation. Don't ask what you you know what you guys are looking for. Just go out, have fun, hang out, learn from it, get some experience in, learn you know, conversation skills, attraction skills, how to escalate, those kind of things, so on and so forth, okay? So with that being said, ladies, I love you, every single one of you. You guys are amazing, seriously. I love the way this community is coming out. It's growing. Um, I, I, I can already tell I have some super fans. Not, I mean, I mean, not a cocky way. I just mean that it's a YouTube term. Uh, I love it. I see a lot of people commenting on my all my videos. That I see a lot of people replying to other comments. I see a lot of people having conversations with each other. I see people, you know, just really, really good, awesome, super fans. And I see the community building. It means the world to me. Okay. So with that being said, if you can please subscribe, get my free 254 page ebook, and check out my uh, my patreon again i have big big plans but i need us as a community to reach it to help other women and do bigger better things right i'm the bernie sanders of well, i don't want to say that because i don't want to get political or anything but you know he was, he was, he was all about that money okay he's all about that money uh that being said i love you ladies peace